Hi there, sign of Scorpio. Hope all of you all are doing so extremely well today. <sighs> Let's get into a reading for you. I'm going to pull um, Oracle and Tarot. Of course, thank you so much for being here and contributing your energy. Your energy's here. Um, we're channeling your spirit guides, your angels, your higher self. Um, with my spirit team and your spirit team, I'm sure a collaboration can be met and some messages can get out there to you. So we're going to start with the entrepreneur deck first. Um, I'll let myself step to the side and allow messages specifically and only just for special you. All right, Scorpio, what do we got? Meditate. So you might be looking for answers, right? You might be looking for answers or um, ideas similar to, okay, well, let me just read it. Practice meditation to connect deeply with spirit. Visualize your next steps and then take your inspired action towards your dreams and goals. Then I have Go Live. Build an authentic relationship with your audience by hosting live sessions around your topic on social media. Innovate. It's like Page of Swords energy here. Innovation. Is your business too generic? What can it stand? What? So they're wanting you to um, list how you're able to stand out from everybody else. You know, that one thing that you can do just so much different or better or more unique because it's like this. Like list the ways where you are the standout of every everyone like in your niche and it says frame your offers in a completely new way yeah 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 new ways to do everything innovate new ways <clears throat> oh i have believe believe Okay, say yes to new adventures. It says say yes to believing in yourself and your business vision. Move forward knowing that your success is assured. Yeah, it, you know, if you are going to have any kind of belief system, don't have one that holds you back. Have a belief system that allows for all kinds of miracles and magic to come in and things like that to um, assist. You have to believe that what you really want is actually possible like you have to really believe that before it actually comes because of being you know kind of like a frequency match ah. trust online marketing implement a solid marketing plan that builds your clients trust in you when you show up consistently for them they'll know that you care create uh, get creative in your business. How can you break the rules in your niche? How can you create momentum? So Chariot Energy is trying to come in here and create momentum for you. There's another thing about how do you stand out. It says how can you zag when others zig. So offers of framing, like wording, or spelling out how you want you know your offers to be a little bit differently. Get creative with it. What makes you unique because you are uniquely you and you can stand out um, there's something you stand out in obviously uh, and that's what they're they're like you need to put that like under a microscope here let everybody see what you're good at um, elevate nice new mindset new results elevate your mindset if you want different results if you keep thinking and acting the same way, nothing will change with your business. That's true. It all starts with um, your you and your thinking. Yep. Yep. Right. This is interesting because when I try, I tried to start this um, earlier, and uh, this one came out. So did stand out. By the way, that's why I keep saying, like you stand out. Um, you stand out. Okay. Right. Copywriting. Copywriting is the art of persuasion. Learn how to craft words that speak to the heart of your ideal clients. And then declutter. It's um, what a nice way to, you know, remove things um, and get some space to allow more creativity to come in. It's kind of like metaphorically 
um, you're clearing out even maybe, you know, some kind of emotions that really just need to be processed. And then, thank you. Bye now. All right. Okay, I have In the Shadows Oracle cards. I think we're going to get these a shot and then we'll pull from um the epiphany deck sacred signs and symbols and maybe use the um either modern love tarot or the hermetic tarot one of them oh goodness okay see it is in the shadows by the way so i'm happy that it's over scorpio we are not right for each other we are not right for each other I scared myself that day. Hmm. I scared myself that day. So somebody's anger really got out of control. It says, I don't know what to say. Say, I hope you're happy. And I says, I'm happy as over. I don't know what to say. Okay. Jeez. My heavy cards. <laughs> All right, so the Epiphany deck mixed with sacred signs and symbols. Let's do this. Tell me about I'm happy that it's over. Deep, dark times in isolation. I need time alone. And you're coming out of a time. So you're coming um, into a period where you do need time to consult with yourself how you're going to put on the boots and lead. But now would not be the time to march and lead, apparently, with this, whatever this was. So needing some time alone before taking lead. What about I don't know what to say? <laughs> I'm not perfect. That's what it is. I don't know what to say. I'm not perfect. Um, sorry about whatever impression this is, whatever impression this made on you. Um, like, that's what that energy is. And it, it might be first impression. It might be um, imperfections, of course. Like, I don't know what to say, but I'm not perfect. Tell me about the we are not right for each other. Trauma bond. Having something in common that's from a trauma, a shared type trauma experience. Rocking horse, still working on these issues. Early influences. I scared myself that day. Lurking in the shadows. So that would be somebody's shadowy side, this anger that comes out. <clears throat> And it scares them, too, because it doesn't feel like them. Almost like sometimes, you know, they, they, they could be... Uh, there's, there's a, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but I know that there is something where you can get um, so angry that you, like, black out. And I don't know if it's, what, like, if it's physical, something physical, or just if it's something psychological, it could be both um but anger like some like i used to know someone who didn't ever remember but i mean who knows usually alcohol well, was related i can tell you that usually usually alcohol was what triggered most of the violence that i've seen um we are divine counterparts we are divine counterparts probably i don't know 
I don't know. And if even if you are, I mean, it might not necessarily work out because of being a divine counterpart. But um, it's in the reverse. I think that this is time to think and try to decide. Um, maybe, maybe you think that this person is not, and that that's why now it's over. So you know what I mean, or not? Like I say, you know, these counterparts can test us as every. Every um, situation can mirror to us, though. So, May's strategy: figuring out to mastermind. That's funny. That wanted to come out earlier um, with the entrepreneur cards. I'm not perfect. We are not right for each other. Spider-Man, superhero, invincible, invulnerable, or sneaky. Okay, I scared myself that day. Power, powerless, the power struggle is real. It's over emotion and mood and balance and anger. Anger. Handling anger. Uh, still working on it. Yes. Observing every action. Hmm. I don't like that. Fairy wishes fulfilled, dreams or innocence, or not so much. And okay, I'm not perfect <laughs> with the I don't know what to say. These scars and wounds run deep, probably from that rocking horse energy. All right, so I'm gonna pull out something different because I want to get a variety, not just this um, shadowy stuff. Goodness, let's go on to something different. Pick up the mood a little bit. We're going to pull from this deck. And this is the, I think it's called Souls, Souls Evolution, the Souls Evolution of Oracle Cards. Failure. Somebody feels like a failure and they don't know what to say because they made such a bad mistake. But, yeah, okay, and, and there's, I don't know, there's another way, there is another way you could say it, it's something about, like, the only mistake is the one that's not corrected, or it is the opportunity that the mistake provides um, for it to get worked out, right? So, I understand a mistake is, an only, is only an opportunity to learn, so it's not really a failure, that's just the word. That's the word. This is the word. This is the label. This is the stuff that people use to uh, incite fear and worry because you don't want to get slapped with that. You don't want to be called a failure now, do you? Uh, I, so that's fear-based, and that's crap. <laughs> There's no real failure. There's no real failure. Only the one that you believe you know, you didn't try, or you haven't still tried, you know what I mean? It's, I, I do agree with that quote. Trust, I will always accept my inner voice. Oh, I will, <laughs> you better accept that inner voice. Accept my inner voice, and uh, know that it's going to guide you correctly. Jeez. But you have <laughs> trust, failure, it's not failure, but the step that comes next to success yay success i know there is no greater goal than to love success. trust trust you're on your way to your happiness i'm aware that being happy means i'm on the right path good job service and both really nice enlightening type energy Service, I feel good when I can help others. Yep. Courage, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. And it's purple. The crown shock are there. And Leo energy possibly doesn't have to be there. And I have somebody's envious. Um, but we're releasing that. We're releasing that. It's a compliment. If somebody's envious, it's because they want what you have. Um, because for some reason they don't see 
um, the thing in them that they can value just that much, you know? So, yeah. So there's some envy. There's uh, imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Because of the en envy, I would definitely just be careful um, with humility and your successes, at the, especially at this time, because it is so hard um, right now for everybody. So it's just all about how you how you accept something or how you, yeah, I guess. All right, sorry guys, I have a little bit of a headache today, and oh, it's hard to concentrate with that. All right, so this is Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. We'll get a few of these. For the rest of your reading and then we'll get some tarot on these cards fear mm -hmm. Inciting fear. 37, fear. Your fears are keeping you from moving forward into the life that you deserve. Old soul, which you've probably been told you're an old soul if you get this card. 21, you have lived many lifetimes and gained wisdom beyond your years. And look at the mirror here. 12 and 21, surrender. Release and surrender all control and let nature take its course. This one is nice. Another sign got this card too. Healing with nature. Going outside um, in nature and seeing the beautiful things that is a representation of what's inside of us, right? That's how we heal with nature here. Is it's, it's like it's healing because it's like realizing how beautiful we must be inside to have all this beautiful um, nature here, right? And whatever it is in nature, I feel like we access that part of ourselves too, while we're there. And that, and something about that is so, is so, so healing. Um, stress and, and hormone levels and, and stuff like that, all that stuff. Um, not all of it is a one-stop shop, but holistically, this is a big step uh, for healing, healing with nature. Why am I shuffling some more? <laughs> oh, I decided to do that. Okay. Because innate knows, that's why, that you're a shooting star. You're an old soul here to be a shooting star. <laughs> so there's something that, like I said, makes you stand out. There's something that you do that's solely how you do it. And it's so unique to you. It makes you you. It makes you possibly famous here. You're a shooting star about to step into your fullest potential. Nice. I love that. And I love that. Um healing and in the star aquarius energy possibly justice um or libra energy here too possibly wow the emperor and the knight of swords change change tell me about old soul whoa it's like no let me tell you about shooting star the fool brand new start taking a leap of faith on something that um it's going to require you to have like a reset you know what i mean get away from me programming don't don't try to be like well because of this in the past I, just remember that fear tactics are part of a lot of things from the past so that's why it's kind of necessary to have a beginner's mind because in new energy you can't expect things to behave the same it's like changing the variables you know with a scientific experiment it's it's the variables that changes it and and this is that's saying that you know take out the old energy and you have something brand new here and they're asking you to have some faith in that some trust in some process here and be open to receiving that's the position of being open to receive talking about um whatever to receive to receive any kind of brand new start or beginning oh wow 
Temperance came out here, um, and it came out, it, it specifically came out on top of that healing with nature, too. So, there is something your angels and your spirit team is are really trying to tell you. Um, also, about incorporating, the, maybe the growing your own spices or something, incorporating that into your cooking, making things a little bit more fresh, or the fresher, the better, you know what I mean? Like, we can't always... But if we have the choice or if we're able to grow it ourselves, oh, even better. Um, have you even done studies about that? That, that uh, look up uh, that vegetables and that, like, if it's your vegetable, something about the nutrients being very specific, like, it will grow and it just knows. Like, it's so connected to the good part of the divine nature. <laughs> Because their programming is for your benefit, um, and, and it seems to match up usually with what the person needs, and that is so cool. So, anyway, I see that kind of being incorporated into um, the foods and stuff, and also healing in that sense, too, with eating more and as natural as we can. I say it's not easy to do all the time, too, right now, but growing your own might be possible. Tell me about surrender. Nine of Pentacles. Look at the hand gestures. Do you see this? That's what I'm saying. The Fool, the Nine of Pentacles. Easily, Scorpio, it's something with the water signs. You and Cancer both now got the best reading for the next two days. So, for the next 48 hours, you and Cancer should be open to receive, because here you go. Ah, hallelujah. That's what it sounds like. Hallelujah. Old soul, learn to trust again. Old soul, learn to trust again. And um, remember, as an old soul, sometimes it's natural to immediately think, oh, well, I know all the things that could go wrong. <laughs> So let's not do that and let's have a beginner's mind this time because it's really not an old lifetime. It's not a past one. It's not a, a repeated experience this time. It's very, very new. All right. Old soul. Old soul, it is time that some more things are revealed to you. You possibly are, um, wow, wow. Something is just uh, that was not clear to you is going to become clear. Something about the um, get ready to not resist the changes that are trying to come in because of that instinct of wanting comfort and things in things not changing because of just not wanting to. You know what I mean? So resist that urge to not change and um, go with the flow here and go with these changes within you'll have the uh, information and they're definitely tapping inside you're not yeah be open be open be receiving be open to receive um, and you're gonna get some really good news some messages financial windfall abundance nine of Pentacles by the way let's just see what else wants to come out the chariot and the lovers in reverse. No more bad decisions. No more bad decisions. And people are going to get along that were not able to get along before. There's going to be more light that enters it. And that will, the light will end up making others who weren't previously like aware of the conflict or drama necessarily that they cause or, you know what I mean, contribute to, they will be made aware of this. And so, therefore, it's going to help this whole issue. Um, it's going to heal. You're going to heal something. The chariot here is the momentum, because you're a shooting star. This really might be, like, on your path to something with fame, something with um, just really, like, a standout. Your standout energy that's come across your whole reading right now. So stand up soon, maybe not right now, get ready soon to go after what you want, I feel. And that is what I've got for you guys. Sending you light and love. Hope that you enjoyed your reading. Bye, guys.